Vinnie Dingle, played by Bradley Johnson, and Liv Flaherty, Isabel Steele, have finally got their relationship back on track following the events of Ben Tucker's, Simon Lennon, death last year on Immerdale. The pair have faced many hurdles and despite almost losing each other forever, they seem to be one of the strongest couples in the village at the moment. However, they know this honeymoon period is not going to last forever and plans for the future need to be put in place but does this include moving away from the set of the ITV soap and to venture the world as a married couple? The drama kicks off in next week's episodes of the weeknight serial drama as the pair plan to tie the knot after getting engaged. Liv is over the moon when she hears Vinny has a friend who is a registrar and is willing to bend the rules to make them legally wed. Mandy Dingle, Lisa Riley, has no idea what her son is up to as she doesn't know they are planning to get hitched, making things a lot more difficult. They joke about how she would react when she finds out the truth and they both think she would be furious at them for their decision. However, it doesn't take long for the guilt to set in and Liv starts to feel uneasy about making plans for her future when no one else knows. They partly haven't said anything to their loved ones because they tend to get overly involved and make their opinions heard when the pair have tried to do anything in the past. Vinny is feeling the same way but thinking it's the best way for them to move forward. He tries to keep up a poker face. Things move quickly from this point as the next day, Liv is told by her future husband a spot has opened up for them to get married later in the week. Though their sense of guilt becomes too much and they decide they're not going to elope and will wait until they've told their friends and family the news. Unfortunately, Mandy and Charles Dingle, Lucy Pargeter, walk in on the youngsters discussing their plans and they get the wrong end of the stick. Chaz believes her surrogate daughter has started drinking again and this ends up with her clashing with her cousin, Mandy. Having seen how much stress and tension their secrecy has caused the family, the young couple begin to wonder how they will ever be able to tell their family anything. Knowing the best thing to do is to put themselves first and go and get married, they each pack a bag and get ready to leave the village. Not telling anyone where they're going might have been a brave move on their part but the Dingles are left worried what has happened to them. After making their midnight flit, Vinny looks at his phone and sees all the missed messages from Mandy urging him to return to the village. The pair have a big decision on their hands as to whether they do get married without their family and friends but what might have been a temporary exit to do it in secret could become permanent. Having listened to how much everyone was arguing about them and surmising Liv was drinking again, the couple could think they don't want any more judgment. Although they know they would hurt their loved ones by disappearing without a trace. They would know returning to the Dales would cause just as many problems. Once they've got married, the youngsters could decide they're going to go and see the world whilst they've got time on their hands. They would inform their family of their whereabouts once they were far enough away not to be followed but this would mean they would continue their lives off screen. How well do you know your British soaps? How many times has Ian Beale been married in EastEnders? What is the name of Bianca Jackson and Ricky Butcher's son on EastEnders? On EastEnders in 2002, who accidentally ran Jamie Mitchell over in his car which caused his death? How many times has Corey's Steve McDonald been married? What happened to Emily Bishop in Coronation Street? who murdered Maxine Peacock in Coronation Street in 2003 question mark which incident in 1993 killed off four characters in Immerdale. When did the show stop being known as Immerdale Farm? On what day did Holly Oaks air its first episode? 
What was the name of the much-loved Coronation Street pet dog who was put down in April 2020 after 14 years? Question mark 1996 saw the arrival of one of Hollyoaks' all-time bad boys and rival of Kurt Benson, but who was he? Who is the longest-serving character on Coronation Street? Who shot Phil in East Tenders? How many fires have there been at Corey's Rover's return? Get out of my pub, you're no soaps fan you're either too young to remember the big lines or have better things to do on weekday evenings casual viewer you watch them sometimes so you kinda know what's been going on die hard fan you love watching the soaps so much your entire week is planned around when they air after a trying year for the pair. This could ultimately be a reprieve from all the stress and tension they've felt in their relationship. From Liv being wrongly incarcerated for the death of Ben and Vinny's abusive father Paul Ashdale, Reestinsdale, being killed off, they need to have some happier times. It's not been officially confirmed whether or not the characters will be leaving but it would bring Liv's six-year stint on the show to an end. Having arrived in the Dales three years ago as the surrogate son of Mandy, Vinny's time will have been short but eventful. Could they finally get their happy ever after?